Uh, Dr. Musineru, we wanted to understand, Uganda launched um, the first of its kind of satellite into the orbit in November last year. Could you tell us, is there any information so far that has been picked from that or any useful information that you, the satellite has gathered and you have shared with the government? Um, we have not yet reached there. Uh, the satellite was uh, deployed in space on um, the 2nd of December after the launch. The launch is taking it from the Earth to the space and then the deployment is it leaves the shuttle and it goes into the space. Uh, the plan was to first work with the uh, Japanese to optimize and that is ongoing and there's some equipment we need to finish our station but we expect this month uh, the team to start sitting at the station. Uh, we, uh, it, you know, we had to refurbish it in very, very, uh, if you look at what it was and what it is now. So now the installation of uh, the center itself, uh, we expect to begin by February. Now, someone would wonder why is it you didn't begin with ensuring that there is a, an earth station that is going to be coordinating and receiving that information and then go into the launch? Uh, the launch does not wait for us because, uh, as you notice, we were using a NASA shuttle, a NASA rocket. So the, the launch doesn't wait for us. Yeah. But here on the ground, we had a few things to work through before we could, uh, first of all, get permission to utilize because it didn't belong to the Ministry of Science belongs to another sector. It took us a bit of time. Uh, these are the normal things that we work through. Okay. Yeah. But we on course according to our plan. And then uh, have you built capacity, or, uh, especially for those who are going to be interpreting that information? Do you have capacity as a um, ministry? The, the capacity, we have some, and some we're building. We have some capacity, and we are building some, just like you do when you're starting. Because there is a worry that maybe it might be underutilized. Uh, we shall build the capacity. You see, it's like the chicken and the egg. How do you build the capacity when you don't have something to use for building capacity? So far, how much has the country spent on, on this? Mm. I don't have the figures of my, I have them on my table. I don't have them off my head. This country has talent. There are many innovators doing different things, but they seem to be working in the dark. Um, how, what is the ministry, your, your line ministry, doing to ensure that these innovators, their work doesn't go in vain? I think um, that status was the status before. But over the past one and a half years, we've done a lot of work to create um, a, a close linkage with the innovators. We have visited and we have met and we have discussed with so many of the innovation hubs. But there are also innovators who are not in innovation hubs. So we have created um, a think tanks. Now, when we say think tank, sometimes people look at, think about intellectuals. No. <laughs> yes, there are some think tanks where you have all those intellectuals, but we've created these platforms uh, in the eight industrial value chains. I just wanted to know how many of the innovators or the innovations that you have supported have already gotten patents? Uh, the issue of patents uh, is in active discussion. There was sluggishness um, in the system and to, for us to refine. However, we are in active discussions now and uh, starting uh, next month, we will be having a clinic. This month, actually, uh, we just finished a conference with all the scientists. Sorry, we didn't invite you. <laughs> we wanted to be able to speak our science. 
patent registration is one of the things that is used to rate a country in its innovation. So this is already available and in this uh, two quarters of uh, this financial year, it's one of our focus to make sure that um, all these innovators uh, fun, uh, have the opportunity to register mm -hmm. their party.